Good morning, second grade. Ms. Vogelman here for your reading lesson today. So let's get started. Today we are starting our lessons on compare and contrasting two points. Our learning target for today is I can compare and contrast the most important points presented by two texts on the same topic. Today we are going to be talking about how we can compare and contrast. Let's learn what these words mean. Compare and contrast. When you compare and contrast in reading, you are looking for things that are the same and things that are different. For example, when looking at these two pictures, some similarities are they are both outdoors, they both have trees in them, and they are both habitats. Remember, habitats means places where animals live. Differences can be, there's an obvious difference in the temperature in each picture and also the colors that are in each picture. Let's practice comparing and contrasting. So if we look at these two pictures, um, if you would like a minute to um, do this on your own, you can pause the video and think about some ways that they are the same and that they are different. Um, and when you're ready, you can come back. Okay, so the ways that they are the same, they both have technology in the picture. They're both people using the technology. Ways that they're different could be that one is a piece of technology is a phone. The other one is a laptop. Also in this picture, this person has something to drink and also has um, earbuds, whereas this person does not. Again, if you would like a minute to compare and contrast yourself, you may um, pause the video. Compare and contrast these two things. Okay, so here we have a picture of a shark and here is a cheetah. All right, in this one, it's obviously in water whereas this one is not. This one is a shark that is swimming. This is a cheetah that is running. Um, this one, they're both, it, the similarity would be that they're both a type of animal. And um, another difference would be that the cheetah has fur, whereas the shark has more of a slick um, skin to it. All right, so I have put in um, Shobi a lesson for you on comparing and contrasting. So make sure you go in there and finish that today. Um, in closure, notice how we found things that um, were alike and different. All right, have a great day.